SCP. In short, this is Cypher OS for the Zenfone Pro M1. Hello awesome people, welcome to another video about Android 8.1 based custom ROM for the Zenfone Pro M1. Yes, this is an install and preview. And before we begin, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell icon because hey, we do awesome stuff with smartphones over here. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel about motorbikes. The name is Kratos390. Go ahead and give some love to that channel as well. So, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to another video for this particular device that is the Asus Zenfone Pro M1 and as always this is the install and preview so this will be a very very quick video it won't be more than around say 7 or 8 minutes at the most so in today's video we are going to install AOSCP that is Cypher OS based on Android 8.1 Oreo and we will also install Google Apps and usual stuff if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader or install TWRP on this wonderful device well here's a card to that video go ahead and check that video out but before we begin you you need to take care of a few things that you need to make sure that your data is backed up you have at least more than 50 percent battery to ensure that you have a successful flash at the same time you need to have the rom file downloaded and copied to your phone's internal memory and if you wish to have google apps you need to have google apps copied into your phone's internal memory as well so as always the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to wipe advanced wipe and we will select everything except the internal storage and in case you have a memory card or sd card installed and then we will go ahead and do a swipe to wipe. Now once the wipe is complete, go to install and select AOSCP and go ahead and flash that particular file. Now this flash will take around 5 to 7 minutes. So please wait for the flash to complete. Alright, so as you can see now, the ROM has been flashed. So let's go to the main screen, install and install open Google Apps swipe to install now the package that I'm using over here is the nano package because I don't need a lot of Google Apps and the ones that I need yes of course I will have Google Play Store so I can download it from there all right so as you can see now the ROM and Google Apps are flashed so let's reboot system now the first boot will take around five to seven minutes so please be patient while the phone boots up and let's quickly also have a look at the beautiful boot animation how different it is so as you can see, this is a new boot animation for AOS CP and it is quite unique and I quite like it. I hope you guys liked it as well, but let's wait for the phone to boot up and then we will set it up quickly so that we can go ahead and have a look at the features of this ROM. All right, so as you can see now, we are on the home screen of this particular ROM and if we quickly go here to settings and then we go to system and about phone, you would notice that the version is 6.0 and if we go to status as you can see the security patch is 5th July 2018 and this is of course Android 8.1 Oreo we have a few P ROMs that are in the works but for now let's quickly have a look at this particular ROM here so let's look at the basic functionality as we always do let's have a look at this app here this looks like the browser and this is the camera here so you can always go ahead and install Google camera uh, that is the G cam that we're talking about you have a music app and a few very very basic applications and you have Google wallpapers as well now let's look at what launcher we have here this is the default launcher that is available and you can display notification count and stuff like that apart from that if you go to settings and if you have a look at the customization of course this is a custom ROM so it would have a lot of customization options available so what do we have here now from the first looks of it it feels very very smooth and you know it's just like any other custom rom very very minimalistic and the phone is you know flying through the os now i would love to review this particular rom for you guys and you know let me know in the comment section if you want me to go ahead and actually review it but from the first impressions and from what i can say yes maybe you can use it as a daily driver if camera is not one of your highlights and if I try to look at the customization menu, there's no dedicated customization menu that I have like you would have in Resurrection Remix or many other ROMs. You just have something called as gestures, which is there in the stock ROM as well. So apart from that, I don't see any customization menu or if you go to the app drawer, you don't have any customization options here as well. So this is basically a pure AOSP ROM just like uh, 
the stock rom and uh, nothing much is available now let me know in the comment section if there is something that i missed so that i can go ahead and cover that next time i review or do an install and preview of this particular rom but for now this is kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials and in case you liked this video like share and subscribe guys until the next one see you take care goodbye Your fingertips are drifting away.